the Interstellar Visitor 3i Atlas is ejecting a metal alloy never seen in nature, a highly refined compound usually only created in human factories. Observations from top-tier telescopes, including Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope, also reveal a bizarre sun-facing jet defying everything we know about how comets behave. These astonishing discoveries are sparking intense debate among scientists about Atlas's origins and makeup. In this video, we'll dive into what's been found, why it's groundbreaking, and what upcoming observations might reveal. In July 2025, astronomers spotted 3 i Atlas hurtling through our solar system on a hyperbolic trajectory. Right away, it caught attention for its enormous size, strange chemical emissions, and unusual activity. By August, the WMCAC Observatory confirmed something that had never been seen in space before. Atlas was spewing about 4 grams of nickel per second, but strangely, no detectable iron. Normally, nickel and iron appeared together in comets, making this a truly bizarre anomaly. Further study revealed the substance as nickel tetracarbonyl, a highly specialized compound produced on Earth only for aerospace, coatings, and high-tech metallurgical processes. Finding this molecule in a natural object is completely unprecedented. But that's not all. Atlas is also missing a typical cometary tail. Instead, a jet of material streams directly toward the sun. This isn't a trick of perspective. Multiple instruments have confirmed the phenomenon. The mysterious jet is made mostly of carbon dioxide and water, with tiny traces of cyanide and nickel compounds, but still no iron, highlighting just how chemically unusual Atlas really is. Even more puzzling, its carbon dioxide to water ratio is around 8 to 1, one of the highest ever measured for an object like this. Polarization studies add another twist. 3i Atlas's dust grains and surface scatter light in a completely unexpected way, showing extreme negative polarization, unlike anything seen in typical comets. Meanwhile, images from Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's high-rise camera, captured during its early October flyby, are anticipated to reveal more about Atlas's structure and jet behavior. But their release has been delayed due to a U.S. government shutdown, leading scientists on edge for these crucial insights. Together, the chemical, optical, and physical oddities make 3i Atlas one of the most closely watched interstellar visitors in recent memory. At the heart of the scientific debate is the discovery of nickel tetracarbonyl. This compound simply doesn't form naturally under known space conditions, forcing astronomers to rethink how interstellar objects chemically evolve over vast stretches of time. The leading theory is that Atlas is a natural object, born under exotic conditions far from our solar system. One idea suggests it formed near a carbon dioxide ice line in its home system, where the distribution of iron and nickel might differ dramatically from what we see around the sun. Over millions of years, interstellar radiation could have altered its chemistry, allowing nickel to escape while iron stayed locked in its core. In this scenario, the bizarre nickel tetracarbonyl emissions could arise through rare but natural chemical reactions triggered by solar heating. But there is a more provocative take from Harvard's Avi Loeb. He points to Atlas's sun-facing jet, refined metal emissions, and unusually precise trajectory as phenomena that are hard to explain through natural processes alone. Loeb even raises the possibility that the nickel alloy could be a techno-signature, a hint that Atlas might not be entirely natural. Most scientists, however, remain cautious. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and while Atlas is certainly unusual, the current data is intriguing but not definitive. Multiple teams are now running lab experiments to see if natural reactions under interstellar and solar conditions could produce emissions like those from Atlas. But the sun-facing jet adds a new layer of mystery. Normally, the solar wind pushes gas and dust away from the sun, creating the familiar cometary tail but Atlas does the exact opposite, streaming material toward the sun. Since this isn't a trick of perspective, researchers are exploring whether the composition or grain size of the ejected material could explain this reverse behavior. Polarimetric data hint that Atlas may have fine, compact surface dust, unlike anything seen on ordinary comets. 
This unusual structure could directly influence how the jet behaves and how sunlight interacts with the emitted material. No matter which explanation turns out to be correct, ATLAS has already expanded the boundaries of what scientists thought possible for interstellar objects. Whether it's an exotic natural phenomenon or something more unusual, it's forcing astronomers to develop new models to understand its behavior. The implications go far beyond just one object. For planetary science, ATLAS provides direct evidence of material from another star system that doesn't fit neatly into existing chemical models. The presence of nickel without iron challenges long-standing ideas about how metals are distributed during planetary formation. If confirmed, it could point to environments with different temperature gradients or elemental separation processes than those in our solar system. ATLAS also fits a growing pattern. Every interstellar visitor behaves differently. Oumuamua showed non-gravitational acceleration without a visible tail. Oborosov resembled a standard comet. And now ATLAS is massive, chemically unusual, and dynamically unconventional, a completely new class of interstellar object. The diversity of interstellar visitors suggests that space isn't filled with just one kind of object, but rather a broad spectrum of bodies, each carrying the unique chemical fingerprint of its home system. For astronomers, ATLAS highlights the importance of rapid multi-wavelength follow-ups whenever a new interstellar object is spotted. Tools like spectroscopy, polarimetry, and high-resolution imaging were crucial in uncovering its unusual behavior. Future surveys will likely adopt these approaches earlier in an object's trajectory, giving scientists more time to decode its secrets. Even the discussion around technosignatures, while speculative, is instructive. ATLAS shows how natural processes can mimic signals that might look engineered at first glance. This has real implications for how future discoveries are assessed. Researchers need to stay rigorous without dismissing anomalies too quickly. Looking ahead, several key milestones are expected. High-resolution imagery should reveal the structure of the sun-facing jet and surface reflectivity, helping test competing theories. Continued observations from Keck, JMWST, and other telescopes will refine measurements of nickel emissions and track how the jet changes as Atlas moves through the solar system. The upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory will dramatically boost the discovery rate of interstellar visitors, providing a larger data set to compare against Atlas. If the nickel without iron anomaly holds up under peer review, it could reshape our understanding of astrochemistry and planetary formation. Even if it's explained by exotic but natural chemistry, it would still expand the boundaries of what we know is possible for interstellar objects. Either way, ATLAS has already cemented its place as a scientific benchmark. With its bizarre sun-facing jet, unusual metal emissions, and chemistry unlike any known comet, 3i ATLAS has defied expectations and is forcing scientists to rethink how we study objects from other star systems. The next wave of observations might not just explain ATLAS, they could redefine what we believe is possible in deep space.